one of the new features that's available in MarkEdit is um, integration with uh, direct integration with ILS systems. Uh, right now, the only system that's been uh, configured is uh, Koha, but I'm hoping that we'll be able, I'll be able to get uh, documentation and API specifications for some of the other new uh, ILS systems like uh, Sierra or Alma. Um, and uh, be able to uh, create uh, integration components for those as well. So let me show you how um, we uh, do search uh, using um, the new Mark Edit integration tools. So in a previous video, I uh, demonstrated how to uh, configure uh, Mark Edit to work with the ILS integration components. Uh, right now, Koha is the only one there, so um, you get it selected. When, once it's been selected, and when you use Mark Edit, you will see the Koha plugin um, show up here. Uh, this is a this is a uh, option that only shows up if the ILS integration components are enabled. So this is where um, if eventually we end up do I end up doing um, Sierra or other systems rather than saying Koha, it would say one of the other systems. Um, so right now if you click on this box there are two options one is a search and that encompasses both um, single item searches as well as uh, batch searching and then there's update and create so you are able to update and create new records so I'm gonna go ahead and do search so there are two search modes uh, my particular database has two records in it um, so there's the individual search so I can go ahead and uh, search. We go ahead and search. Uh, there are options here to um, retrieve data in Unicode. So Mark Edit by default is going to assume um, the data is coming back in Mark 8. If your data is coming back in Unicode, you'll want to check the retrieve data in Unicode and select the UTF-8 option. There are a lot of other options there. Uh, Mark Edit has loaded a number of um, common systems. You can actually add your own. Uh, if you um, have a character set, for example, that's Mark 8, but you want the data to be in Unicode, you can tell it to retrieve in Unicode and uh, select the Mark 8 as the server character set, and Mark Edit will automatically convert it. So anyways, um, once you do this once, Mark Edit will remember um, your settings um, this, uh, going forward. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do this search. And I get back one record. If this is the record I want to use, I just click on it and it goes ahead and it pulls into the Mark Editor. And from here you can go ahead and make your changes. And when um, you're ready to update it, uh, you can use the um, Update Create option. I'll uh, demonstrate how that works later. Uh, but for Koha specifically, um, it's using the uh, 999 field, specifically the subfield D, to get the uh, item record number or the bibliographic record number for uh, the Koha database um, to use that as a um, update marker. Uh, so that's how you would use it for a single search. But in all likelihood, you're probably going to want to be able to use this for multiple for batch searching. So I went ahead and created a batch search file here. This is a simple batch file. Uh, Mark Edit supports in batch searching ISBN, ISSN, record number searching, OCLC number searching, or raw um, data searching. So you could actually enter in raw Z39.50 queries into your test file, and Mark Edit would use those if you select the raw option. So here I went ahead and I've created um, a simple test file. I'm just going to do a keyword search um, over. Uh, these two, in fact, um, I'll go ahead and I'll change this uh, first one to digital to make sure I get two different records. Um, and so those are my, my options. I'm going to go ahead and same process, uh, select search. Uh, in this case, I'm going to check the back search option. You'll notice that the Unicode options are set still. Um, I'll go ahead and pick that, uh, grab my test file, and, I, and then I select uh, the search criteria that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and tell it keyword and then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to search and it does its two searches and it drops those records directly into the mark editor and so then these records can be edited and when you're done with your editing you can update 
um, those records or if there's a new record in the, the set um, update or create records using the the Koha update uh, create option so um, this is uh, very simply how um, you can do uh, the direct integration search um, using the new uh, mark edit ILS integration options uh, specifically here with Koha. If you have any questions uh, let me know. This will be available in the um, next version of uh, mark edit sometime around um, uh, looks like now probably around December 1st 2012.